Hi everybody, this is Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another exciting video today. Um, what this video is about is uh, my latest project that I got going on. It's my log storage. As you can see, my current log inventory is full to the max, and uh, in my dried out drying area or seasoning area. And uh, <clears throat> when my business picks up in a year or two, this will not be enough logs. To, uh, season to um, meet the orders and because uh, it takes like six six months to a, a year for some woods to season and and this wood right here would would uh, only replenish about half of what I got stored right here and uh, so I need more logs uh, seasoning so when the orders do pick up I can split and they're ready to go in a short amount of time I have to do something about this spider web here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a spider right there. But anyway, back to the movie or video, or whatever. Um, so what I've been doing the last couple of days is my uh, wood that I have piled up back here. These logs that I got back in December, they're sitting on the ground. Yes, they do have a tarp over it, but they have a greater chance of rotting. I'm sure they're okay right now, uh, but these are going to be the first ones I split as I sell, as I sell, um, you know, the firewood. But uh, this isn't going to last forever, you know. So I need to start building up my uh, my log inventory, and I need to store it in a better fashion than this. And what I've come up with is, uh, as you can see, this right here. I got these logs in between these two maple trees. But I don't. But they're sitting. The bottom row is just uh, sitting by itself, you know, sitting right on the ground. And those have a potential to rotting if they're there for, you know, a period of time. So this is going to be the second uh, thing I, uh, pile I split. But what I'm doing now, as you can see, I did this yesterday. I cut this tree down. I sacrificed it. It was half dead from the fire. So I'm going to start. Uh, putting them on uh, maple trees those you can see the silver maple logs that are uh, they're sitting on it keeps them off the ground so the logs won't rot and it's probably about maybe 10 feet in between the two trees and then I'll build up about four foot and once I you know do this pile I'll put a couple of maple trees down there to keep it off the ground I'm also going to do it between that tree right there and this one as you can see, I got this started yesterday, but I didn't finish it. If it wasn't raining today, I'd have it finished. And that'll be all full of logs, about four foot tall. Same with between this tree and this tree. So that's all ready to go. And then this will be gone, of course. And then I'll start uh, putting them between there and there. And lastly, between here and here those two trees so that should give me you know this whole area basically would be like a wall two walls of logs and uh, that's quite a bit of wood so I'd say maybe 20 20 cords possibly or maybe you know, 10 at least 10 cords of wood will be uh, will be stored out here and plus what I have on my log seasoning rack so that should be good to tide me over but i hope you enjoyed today's video and of course as always like joe's premium firewood on facebook thank you